Hello, not here. Who welcome back to Path of Exile? Playing in the hardcore Abyss League as a follow to that Inquisitor. And it is yet again time for a Zana mission. Still saying, we get Slay the Rogue Exiles in Jungle Valley. Okay. Within the time limits, stunning stones increase the time limits. That's fun. Jungle Valley used to be tier 1. Uh, doesn't appear anywhere on the uh, low level list, so it got bumped a bit. So let's see what we're all set right now. 73. That makes it a tier 6. That's uh, also twin bosses. That means two spiders. My chaos resistance is neg slightly negative. Boss deal more damage, have faster attack speed, so they're going to be more dangerous. But outside of that, it's just two rogue exiles. So that, let's see. If this is still the same, it's going to be a set of spider bosses, and that's going to be fun. So, rogue exile. Uh, Ulysses, Merva. Is of course do the, doing chaos damage. Not touching stones, it helps. No, if there's a lot of stones, of course, I get a lot of bonus time. Doesn't really matter too much. That's uh, exile. That's stone. So all that is really relevant is effectively to just find the exiles within the time limit. After that I can just clear the remainder of the map. Oh, uh, an abyss. Let's... Keep the oh, there's only two exiles. That's neat. Actually. So that means we're done now. Or... We can just clear the remainder of the map for funsies. So, neat thing about this map is, of course, that it is relatively linear. So, they did add some branching in 3.0. At least, it, it feels like there's a little bit more branching compared to uh, pre-3.0. Still kicking ass here on what effectively a uh, white map. All the danger is going to be in the bosses. Though, of course, keep in mind it's tier 6. Oh, enemies are hurt a lot simply by virtue of what they are. And there we have it. Okay. And what's in the trove for me? Not a florist gift. Wonderful. So, all the jewels and stuff. And I'm overloading myself with stuff I'm not gonna use. You know what? Let's just keep this simple. Only pick up the stuff that looks potentially useful. The fun part, of course, is going to be the uh, boss fight. Double spiders that do more damage and attack faster on a tier 6 map. Well, that could be interesting. Strong box, what's in the box? Ice Nova. Sure, let's just get out of range. Oop, that's barely out of range. Uh, slightly larger than I anticipated. Along the way, something that killed my golem. Luckily, golems are recastable. Let's 
Some bleached Vanguard. They look a little pale compared to their uh, usual versions, or at least of the version that I'm used to from the uh, Dried Lake. And again, Dried Lake has kind of lost its significance, hasn't it? Used to be, where you uh, did some farming, where you did some uh, preparation for maps. Now it's just another random area in Act 4 that you quickly breeze through. Because, well, Acts 1 through 4 are effectively just a, a warm up, not a place where you get your skill gems. And it's not until well, Act 5. Where there's no innocence in Katawa, where you really have to start paying attention to the boss fights. And no, after Katawa and X5, of course, then you walk into X6 and suddenly monsters are dangerous and you have to pay a little bit of attention to gearing. Yeah, things have changed a little bit. Oh, wait, that's a corpse. With all the particle effects coming off, it didn't quite look dead yet. Ooh, hello, there's strumps. Um, couple extra mobs, that's alright. Yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll fix that. Boop. One tier five spider there. Okay, and there is uh, the doorway. And no monsters remain, so that means we killed everything until the boss encounter. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. There's no point in emptying my pockets. Alright, so first tier 6 equivalent boss fight. Double boss. They've increased damage and they are faster. Good thing is, I'm pretty good at stuff at that stuff as well. And the enemies are gonna provide me with a fair deal of corpses as well. Nice thing about these maps uh, with generators. Yeah, right. so we've got a decoy totem, we've got corpses. Okay. That's one down, that's two down. Okay. That worked out rather well, actually. Decoy totem, once again, start of the show. It really helps to uh, get some attention away from myself. And of course, after that, you can just uh, put on some corpses and you explode them in their face and there's not much monsters can do, really. So thank you, Zana, for this daily. And that was one jungle valley map. And slowly the uh, tier of maps that, that she's offering me is increasing, which is which is nice actually. I'm also getting access to some tier 6, tier 7 maps. I must say, the uh, map stash. Uh, I bought some maps up to tier 7. Uh, got a couple of, of tier 6 drops from some of the tier 5s I ran before, most of them via the Xana maps. But below that as well, now there's 21 uh, tier 1, 21 tier 2 maps. For someone that, that's only, you know, done Xana missions uh, together to uh, level five and a half and 21 different maps unlocked. Maybe twice that, probably not even twice that in terms of total maps runs. So maybe, you know, 30 to 40 regular maps runs and well, 10 or so Xana maps, 15 Xana maps maybe. Mapping pool is building up pretty well. I'm uh, definitely not complaining about the progress uh, there. But well, for now, I want to thank you very much for uh, watching and hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.